Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Surprisingly, I only still now only have like 80.73% filled of the entire abandoned castle. But I think uh, I should be able to be above that once I check out the third floor. And about time, too. Yay, my fairy leveled up again. He's putting in some work, I must say. As is my foil, it's actually a really good weapon. For what it needs to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure my axe is going to be better against these guys, because it has more attack power. However, I'm more of a sword kind of guy. And I am invested in using the uh, sword evil crystals for this. <coughs> Alright, let's go to the third floor. Oh wow, we're off to a big start with our skeleton blazes again. Oh, you can actually hit them while they're down as well. Wait. Did one actually get healed? So I wonder what those uh, blue letters were. Can one skeleton blaze heal the other? Makes you wonder. So, they are actually a pretty formidable threat. Could be even worse if there's like more than two. God, it sucks that they, these uh, torches only drop like, what, one dollar? Would be nice if there was like a rare fifty dollar one, or even higher than that. These jabronis again. Just try to focus on one at a time. Come on, hit me, I dare ya. Okay, put yourself in position to get hit. Whoa, what is this? Is that a white dragon? It is a white dragon. That's some uh, classic Castlevania lore right there. Oh, there's another one. I was able to get like multiple attacks in a row. Okay, so I have to hit it to cancel its attack. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, almost forgot to grab this. It's good to have plenty of materials. Wait, there's a fourth floor? Huh. It's not on my map. Alright. So I guess the third floor is not the top. Wow, it totally wrecked him. Not stand a chance. Oh, whoa, God, there is more. Oh, God, there's way more than I thought. Wait, both of them got their attacks on me at once? Okay, you guys are starting to piss me off now. God, you focus on one, the other two are after you. Okay, that's one. Maybe it's just paranoia that made me think they were actually able to heal each other. Well, I needed the HP anyway, so sure. So 
So far, the skeleton blazes, if there's a lot of them, oh god, you're gonna have a rough fight. Full is not exactly the best weapon for crowd control either. If I want crowd control, maybe I can go back to the short sword. I might have to. I mean, they have the same stats. Oh god, there's white dragons here too. Stay away from the white dragons. Okay, I think I'm doing better with this weapon. So yeah, the short sword is definitely better against skeleton blazes. And maybe the foil is better against enemies that don't move so much. This guy. I missed. Oh my god, like, how do I keep missing this guy? to use the fairy. <laughs> so I could have got some meat right there. Alright, this must be the end of the castle right here. Anytime you see stairs like this, it's a pretty ominous sign. at the end of this room. Is that a save point right there? It is! Nice! How convenient. Okay, I'm just gonna save it right here. I'm not gonna register it. There we go. I don't know if saving actually recovers all your hearts as well. So, that's actually really good. Oh, this must be the boss door. Crazy armor, eh? Nice of the game to auto lock for me. Another thing that's good, I can block both his attacks the horizontal and the vertical swing. I don't know, it's just because I got the Corinthian helm. But so far, it looks like I can kick some ass. Oh! Okay, so I guess the horizontal swing can stagger my guard. Okay, so it does like 7 damage per hit. This is actually not very hard. It's pretty slow. Oh, it has a new attack. 
was able to drill into the ground. Oh, it's dead. Very easy for his boss. They can't all be this easy. Uh oh. Oh, there's another phase. Oh God, it rains fire. Oh, good to know I can just block fire. I'll just wait for it to finish this little fire rain. Second charge is really good against bosses. Especially giant ones. Okay, I actually did get hit there. There we go, it's dead. For real this time, I hope. Oh, I thought I was gonna do a third phase. <laughs> well, just disappears. Everything has to be a chair, huh? Oh good, it actually healed me fully. 99.08? Huh, there must be a secret passage somewhere. Because it looks like I'm going to be out of the abandoned castle when I go this way. Baljet Mountains. Ooh, this music is creepy, but I like it. Alright, so all the areas are pretty much just like... You go from like one to the other. There we go. Ooh, another innocent devil. Looks like a golem? Okay, Magmard. Elzon? Okay, I, I, gotta, I gotta think of a good name for something that's just like bulky and just punches things. Oh, frig it, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm going to call it. No, oh, no. Okay, I need to find a space. I got a space on this one. Is there, like, no space? Okay. Oh, there you go. You're going to be Roman hyphen reigns now. <laughs> Battle type innocent devil now. Exceptionally strong and excel at physical combat. As their name implies, they are most effective in battle. Battle type innocent devils have an additional AI mode though. In addition to auto and command, battle ID can battle type ID can also guard. When guard is selected, the ID will enter a defensive stance, blocking all enemy attacks. While in this mode, a shining circle guard, guard field will appear around the ID. All enemy attacks will be blocked while in the guard field. If Hector stands in the guard field, he will also be protected from enemy attacks for a certain amount of time. However, as the guard field is attacked, the circle will shrink. It will recover in size over time. As Hector executes certain combos, the word chain may appear. Press the attack button or final attack button when this happens. If timed correctly, the ID will warp in front of Hector and add a cooperative attack. This is called a chain attack. Use this chain attack to deal extra damage to enemies. Some chain attacks even have special effects. Okay, so he has 
aura blast. Oh my god, look at the way he walks! Look, look at it! Look at him walk! Look at him go! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Huh, you level up right away. Ah, I'm missing out on the chain ability. Did I get pick up some jet black? I think that's a new type of material as well. Okay, so I can take a short sword and combine it with jet black. Oh, I get a broadsword! Okay, so I guess there are like different kinds of swords in general. Thick and very heavy, but potentially devastating. What's oh, a two handed blade? Okay, but it has the same attacks as the short sword. That's actually pretty cool. This guy levels up pretty fast. But I guess we are just running into like new enemies in general. But for like a level 1 innocent devil, of course it's gonna... Nice. I think I hit Chain at that moment. I can make a spear as well. Bamboo Lance? Okay. And I can make some armor. Oh, but I need more jet black. Sure, I might need another short sword for something. Who drops the jet black anyway? The lizard men? Yes! Oh, we just got one. Oh, we can make some new armor. Hard leather armor. Oh yeah. So that was a good idea to grind, not just for like experience, but for materials. Do I have you set to evolve as well? I do, okay. I got such a lineup. Navi and Roman Reigns, oh my god. No, I'm sorry, it's Roman hyphen Reigns, because you can't put spaces. Where do I go? Uh, let's go this way first. Oh! I didn't even see the skeletons over there. Oh, a Rosario! That allows you to get some instant kills on any enemies that are, like, within your view. Okay, so that was the enemy we saw up there in Orc. Okay, we don't know what it drops. So, yeah. I guess we'll run into more of those later. We just didn't get a chance to hit it because of the Rosario. Ooh, this is a pretty big place. This is where we have to go, or this is where we can go. Okay, they like to throw fire arrows. Ow! Not cool. Look at him go! He's just jumping down on him! Dropping the big punches on this guy's face. Alright, now we got two paths to choose from again. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost. Because there was like a fork in the road earlier, and now there's another fork in the road. Let's see how far left we can go. Impossible. 
she can't be alive. Oh. May I be of service? Uh, no. Forgive me. My name is Hector. What are you doing in a place like this? I could ask you the same question, sir. I am searching for someone. A man bearing the same crest I'm wearing. And this man, is he your enemy or your friend? You sound as if you know him. Yes, quite so. Now answer me, be he your friend or foe? He is my most bitter enemy. I see. In that case, I shall help you. Pardon me, milady, but by what reason would you offer me this boon? Indeed, by what reason should I trust it? Your enemy is my enemy. That is reason enough. <coughs> if you are a devil forge master, you shall need a place to keep your little friends safe. Rest assured, you have no reason <coughs> to refuse my help. You seem quite knowledgeable. Who are you exactly? A witch. I escaped from the western lands where we were hunted like vermin. I have the power to envision the future. How interesting. And your name? Julia. My house is further on. I shall prepare an elixir that may be of use to you. Farewell, for now. Julia. She is the very image of Rosalie. Oh, that makes things pretty. <laughs> Why did I slash at you? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I can go... I can go up. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm going the exact opposite way of where I should normally be going. Hmm, is this her house? Huge iron door. No man can force this open. Aww. So I guess I can't go this way yet. Is this her house? It's a big door. Hmm. It's not active yet. Hmm. That's a, that's a completely different room, though. I'll definitely have to look into that later. There might be another one like that elsewhere. Oh, this game does not make it any easy on you to figure out where you need to go. <laughs> I could be going almost everywhere. Alright, I'm going to register it here, though. So we'll save. And you know what? I think this would be a good time to end this episode. We definitely got a fair bit accomplished. But we still got a little bit to do. And we got, like, a new territory to explore. So this should be pretty fun. Stay tuned for the next episode when I keep going through the Baljet Mountains. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.